right in the beginning an awful lot, you know, to, to just to try and make the guys understand how the car works. I mean, that was my main part in the game, to get the, the handling of the, the car as realistic as possible. So a lot of work in the beginning, playing a lot of the development games with the programmers, doing a lot of alterations, a bit, a bit like a test really in a, in a real car. You know, change this, change that. Should be accelerating a bit quicker here, different braking there. So, um, <clears throat> And then obviously as the, as the games have evolved, not quite so much because the Codemasters have got a, a very good understanding now of, of what a rally is, how it works, how the car should work. So you know, it's generally now if it's just if it's a sort of new thing, it's you know should this be like that, or do you think we should go this way? Or, so it's it's uh, not quite as as involved now as it was in the beginning. Some of the touring car stuff, more driving games than than any other kind of games. I'm not a big game player, um, but yeah, I'll have a go at bits and pieces, but generally my own game. No, not at all. No, because it wasn't. Yeah, you know, it wasn't big stuff when when I was in my teens. Yeah. Uh, so I didn't really get into it, and I'm not. You know, I'm not addicted to it now. Yeah. Uh, but I do enjoy it. Yeah. You know, I'm. We're, I'm just setting up a new place at home, like a big TV room with a big screen and the chair, and so I can get all the boys around and have a bit of competition, <laughs> and a few beers. I've always said that some of my favourite. Uh, stages are in Sweden, in the snow and the ice, because in, in real life, the snowbank gives you a bit of a, a security barrier. Uh, you can you can bounce off it and get away with it, and it's, yeah, it's the same in the game. You know, you can hit the bank and you stay in the road. If you're in the, in Finland and you go off, you go straight into the trees and you get a lot of damage. So it is very very similar. For me, who, who knows the consequences of going off the road when you when you get right into the game and you're coming along a real quick bit and <clears throat> you do know you're going to go off the road, you oh, you know you, you sit back in your, your chair. Whereas enough, I'm sure game players wouldn't bother. It would just be back on. So you well, yeah, you get that wee sort of sort of natural reaction of a bit of fear or this is going to hurt when you see the tree coming. Curiosity, really, just because I mean I, I didn't really know an awful lot about it, and uh, that was that was something different, uh, uh, just something totally new, new experience, and yeah, just a bit of curiosity to see if what was what Code Masters were going to produce at the end of it. You, you're just building and fine tuning, and and something that is at a certain level. It's like. Uh, you know, with our cars in real life, to, you know, to to improve all of them, improve what you have, it becomes more and more difficult. The you know, the higher up the scale you get, but it, it always surprises me with the new games. There always is you know, there's a definite difference, and you know, things that you've asked to be improved, things that they've tried to alter, have definitely worked. So there's there's always seems to be a, a good improvement with with the games. With the last game, as you would have said the same thing, wouldn't you? How how are you going to progress from here? But it always happens, uh, and I think that will be the that will be the case. You know, the, there's always new ideas, and I think now with the the experience that the code masters have in the game, you know, the, they're obviously sort of thinking about it all the time. There's new ideas coming in. They're trying different things, and a lot of the stuff in this game is working really well. So I think yeah, that'll always be the case. Uh, there'll always be something a bit different. The handling's going to be better. The cars are going to be different. But I think you know, in Colin McRae 4, there's a big difference in the, the handling and in the cars, uh, which is you know, what it's all about. They, they are definitely working very well, and the timing's very good. Uh, that's a big improvement from uh, 3. So I was, I was quite impressed today. You can al almost think you're in the real thing when you sat there listening to him. I never believed it would be anywhere near as successful as it as it, as it is. It's incredible. Um, I know, yeah, the best or one of the best, if not the best, rally game there is. Yeah.
every every part of it. Um, I mean, the, the the new game now, the the attention to detail on on the stages and the surface. Obviously, they've improved again on the cars and the handling and the all the, the sort of fine tuning there. But the big thing I think now is the, the pace notes and the the surfaces. You know, there's a big variation in surfaces and grip and how the car works. And when you, you can cut through the corners and you get the effect of the you can through the ditch a lot more accurately. So I think on on the on on stage detail. I think it's, it's certainly br it's brought the sport probably to a, a young, a lot younger audience. Um, there's obviously a lot of teenagers and younger that play the game, um, who otherwise would maybe not really know an awful lot about rallying. So I think uh, from that point of view, it's worked very well. I was just was playing a bit with the Group B cars today. Uh, they're, they're, they're good. They've got everything really quick in a straight line, difficult to turn, really noisy, a lot of revs and that's that's what they were like. Um, so I think from a sort of fun challenge point of view I would play more with the, the Group B cars. I haven't really played much of the extreme mode, I'll have a go today. But it's good, I think it, you know it's, it's very realistic, if you make a mistake then that's you, you're out. And that, you know, that's the way it is in real life. So it's uh, you've, you've got to get it right. I think a, a lot of the games, you can, yeah, you can be a bit relaxed and crash in through the trees and come back in the road. And if you want to really get serious about it, then the extreme mode's the, the one to play. It does take time to to understand it and to, to build the confidence, and that's taken a bit longer than than I thought. But the, the performance and the results have been better this year than I expected they would be. You know, mine personally at the moment aren't brilliant, uh, but uh, the team as a whole are doing very well. We're right up there in second in the championship in the manufacturer's title. So you know, Carlos is right up there in the driver's title. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy. We've got a long way to go in the season and some good rallies coming. You know, three tarmac rallies. So we should be very competitive there. So it's, it's looking good. I would always see myself as a driver in something. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I've, I've seen drivers that have gone to team management and team ownership, and it looks like it's a lot more stressful than it is when you're driving. So, yeah, I, th I enjoy. I still enjoy driving very much. So I think you know, if I, if I stop at this level, I would get involved in some kind of other discipline, but as a driver rather than as a, as a, a manager or anything else. I do a lot more mileage in a year in rally cars and recce cars than I do actually on the road when, you know, whenever I'm, I'm at home or uh, I try and avoid driving at all costs. When, you know, when I go back in, to Scotland, it's, it's still it's good up there because you've got some really nice country roads and you can have a bit of fun, but um, you've just got to be so careful. Uh, so, I mean, part, apart from driving to where I need to go to. I don't I don't drive much on the road for fun. It's always karting or a racetrack or you know motorcycling on the racetrack. We, we always sort of tend to go to tracks to have a bit of fun. So I still you know I still do, I still drive just for the fun of it. Uh, outside of competition but more either off road or, or, or on tracks. When I was sort of 17, that sort of boy racer era hadn't really started. Uh, I think, yeah, now it's, it's huge, isn't it, with all the wee hatches and the, uh, all the bits and pieces, but that, that, that wasn't really around when I was sort of 17, 18. Obviously, we've got our medical people there that keep tabs on it all, so generally I don't lose a lot, a lot at all. Very, very little. Depending, you know, some of the real hot rallies, you, you, you're going to lose a little, but not, not much. Sometimes you get away with it, scot-free, and other times they just do you because of who you are. Depends, <laughs> depends on who it is. 
I did get stopped once for passing a police car at 90 miles an hour on the outside lane of the motorway. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, no, he actually let me off, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've all tried, haven't they? None of them are any good. <laughs> and rallying generally, it's quite a friendly rivalry. Um, but yeah, that's no, quite healthy. Faster. Be braver. <laughs> it doesn't hurt when you, when you get it wrong. <laughs>